Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I will be creating this look here. Another Valentine's look with the Lois Cosmetics Rose Metal Palette. I received this the other day and look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And Lois very kindly popped a couple of extras in my package. So I have the Pink Fine Liner. It's the shade Pink Parade and the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Throne. Absolutely over the moon. Thank you so, so much. So if you'd like to see how I created this look using the Rose Metal palette from Lois Cosmetics, then just keep on watching. So my base is on and my eyes are primed. Everything I have on my face will be listed in the description box below as usual. And let's get right on into this so the first color i'm going in with is full for you there's a little bit of kick up but again i don't mind and i'm just going to be marking out the the shape not doing any blending at the moment just bring that out this is a really beautiful colour. When I first saw this palette, I thought that it was going to be too neutral for me. But look at the depth in this colour here. Alright, now we've got the placement down, I'm just going to ever so gently go over the edges. Soften them a little bit. So now we've got that colour down. I'm going to be using Cherish, this one here, to uh, blend the edges. So just taking a little bit of Cherish. And this is just going to be going over the edges to blend this out a little bit. And just as I expected after uh, playing with the Gone Rogue palette, this is blending beautifully. So just making sure there's a really nice blend there. Yeah, I'm happy with how that blend is looking. So I'm going to quickly cut my crease using the P. Louise base in Rumor Zero and then we will continue. Crease is cut, tape is on. So firstly I'm going to be going in with Throne and I'm going to be using a liner brush from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics. It's just a little tiny one, it's the 000 and I'm just going to be taking it on the little brush. I'm just going to go a bit at a time. And I'm just going to be using that to line the very edge of the cut crease. Okay, so now that's done, I'm just going to be taking a little bit more of Fall For You. And I'm just going to be concentrating this on the outer V here. And coming in just at a diagonal. Okay, and just taking that tape off, we've got a nice clean line there. Okay, so for the lid, I'm firstly going to be going in with Rose Metal. It's beautiful shimmer. 
just using a Miali Beauty flat brush. I do love this brush. So just taking some of Rose Metal and just following the same diagonal. Beautiful. And just blending it across into the mat there. Wow, look at that colour. Absolutely gorgeous. And then using the other side of the same brush, I'm going to go into Hopeless Romantic. And that's going to go over most of the rest of the lid. I'm still going to be leaving just a portion open, just right on the inner part there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then just tap between both sides over the line. And then the final one I'm going on on the inner part with is Self Love. I'm just going to take that on a little Morphe flat brush. And just place that right in the uh, spot that's left open. And just dragging it into the shimmer next to it. Oh, these colours are so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking the brush I used for Fall For You, the deeper one. And I'm just going to bring that down here. And then I'm just going to take some of Cherish just to blend out that lower lash line there. So for the inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I am going to be going in with Evelyn on here. Wow. When I did my uh, top 10 Valentine's palettes, I didn't actually have this one at that time. But using it now, this definitely works as a beautiful Valentine's palette. And then just a tiny bit up there, right under the brow bone, right under the brow. I am super happy with how that is looking so far. So I am going to nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you the finished look. So don't go anywhere. Here is the finished look. What do you think? I had so much fun playing with this palette. It's so beautiful. And I did actually use Date Night, this one here as a blush. And I think it went beautifully, absolutely gorgeous. The highlighter I went in with was from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Pink Sunshine. Mascara's the Barry M, that's how I roll as always. The eyeliners, I used the black fine liner from Lois Cosmetics. And in my waterline, I've got the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting. My lips, I finally remembered to use this Stila Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer, which I always forget I've got, and the lipstick went on beautifully over top of it, so I should be using that again. 
The lipstick is from Melt. It is their matte lipstick in the shade Stepford. So yes, this is my Valentine's look with the Lois Cosmetics Rose Metal Palette. I am so happy that I have this. So happy. I love the packaging. How romantic is that? It is the perfect Valentine's palette. Because when you look inside, you've just got all these beautiful romantic colours. Absolutely gorgeous. And this self-love up here has, is like a pinky gold. Pink with a gold shift. Absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a bit of the shade Mogul from the Artitude Cosmetics VIP exclusive palette. But this is just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous that full for you that shade is so pigmented it blends so beautifully it's got real depth to the color i'm over the moon that i have this absolutely over the moon it is beautiful i can't believe i held off for so long that is it from me for today i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you're not subscribed already then i hope you'll consider sticking around i do a lot of colorful looks and i focus mainly on indie brands because that's where my heart lies so if that sounds like something that you're interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that youtube notifies you the next time i upload Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.